Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video. And of course, your daily update on Dogecoin. And uh, unfortunately, we got faked out, all right? And maybe, I mean, there's still, look, Dogecoin in general right now, if you, if you purely look at the market structure, it's a bit of a weird structure, right? Because I, I drew these lines to, to kind of signal to you that you could see the current structure as still being bullish, right? But then you have so many, so many small key levels right here. I, I, I always thought that this level right here between 20 and 19 cents was the main level. Um, I still think so. But overall, what we got yesterday, yesterday I, I, was, I was pretty bullish on, on Dogecoin. Uh, but what we got is a fake out. We broke above that level and instantly, mainly caused by Bitcoin, of course, because Bitcoin uh, yesterday, I think in the, like in the, in the middle of the day, uh, Bitcoin turned quite bearish, all right? So that's obviously, I mean, I've, I've told you that countless times, that has an effect on Dogecoin. Uh, the only way that Dogecoin can sustainably be bullish is if Bitcoin is bullish as well. So when Bitcoin started falling yesterday and is still falling right now, that has a severe effect on Dogecoin. And that's the main reason why that uh, breakout, I think, turned into a fake out. Um, but e either way, I mean, that, that still does mean that um, Dogecoin on its own just was not strong enough. Uh, and you could also, in hindsight, look, you could also see that right here, or at least I should I should look at it right here. Um, but you can also see that on Monday, on Monday afternoon, so Monday afternoon is when we got that breakout. Since then, uh, we basically started losing momentum. Uh, so that was already the case yesterday morning as well. When we did not get a solid bounce in that momentum, I should have known. Um, so that's that's my bad. But overall, Dogecoin right now, look, if you really, really zoom out, I still think Dogecoin is fine. And I still think we're going to rally at some point of time soon. Um, but at this moment, on, on the very short term, first of all, Bitcoin looks super weak, <laughs> or at least there's, if, if you look at the momentum it has, it's dropping down severely. So that's not great. And then if you look at Dogecoin, momentum is also dropping down, while the technicals uh, with, that, uh, with that bullish fake out and a real bearish breakout are not looking ideal either. Um, so you should be prepared, right? I mean, Bitcoin can turn around any time of day, basically. And Dogecoin still does have a strong support level right here between, I would say, around 18 cents, right? So 18, 17.5, basically this level right here with the trend line and the 200 EMA. So from there, I, I would say that we do have a chance to bounce and to break back above 19 and a half and 20 cents. So the possibility is there. But with the current circumstances, that is 100% not most likely, all right? Because like I said, Bitcoin at this moment that I'm making this video is showing no momentum at all. So uh, there's no reason to believe that Dogecoin is going to bounce like that. But that is technically a level from which we could bounce. So if we find support there, if we can see some 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 decent bounce from there, while Bitcoin is also showing some, some more bullish momentum, then it's possible that from there we actually get a real bullish breakout and rally up higher. Um, but that's that's not most likely. It's it's most likely under the current circumstances, so that we're losing momentum, got a bearish breakout, etc. It's most likely to assume that we will bounce from that level, but that it will not cause a bullish breakout, and that we will just drop back down to that uh, to that previous support level we had um, uh, last week uh, between six, sixteen and a half and sixteen cents. So short term, that's what I think is most likely. Keep your just keep your eyes on Bitcoin, all right? If like I said, it's it's very important to do that. Because if you can see a bounce from Bitcoin soon, then Dogecoin can be a very good performer with that bounce. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the, in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.